All right, we're live. Hello, friends. Welcome, everybody, to Willow Cape Homestead, our weekly live. To our crazy adventure that we like to call homesteading. Thanks for joining us. The live version. So uh, while we're waiting for everybody to join in, a uh, couple of topics we want to try and cover tonight. Um, we want to do a channel share. Share with you a channel that we've enjoyed. I'll let you have the keyboard and the mouse. You can chat with people. We want to do uh, hey. talk a little bit about our the buck we picked up the other day. Yeah. Our plans with it. Um, the experience. We are going to talk about. Uh, We'll do an update on the rabbits, how they're doing, and um, talk a little bit about uh, YouTube identity crisis. Um, so, hey, McCree Family Homestead and the Holler Homestead in the house. Cases in the house. Welcome. Hello, hello. Hello from Australia. Hello. Wonderful. Hello, Anthony. Thanks for joining us. Oh, cool. I Was he? You, I didn't. I think Anthony gave me um, like those postcards. Did he? Yeah. Is he the, um, the Australian postcards he made himself. Are those, really are those Anthony, are those, um, yeah. Um, Somebody from Australia. If that was you, Anthony, they're amazing. Um, they were some homemade postcards. postcards, like pictures that he made into postcards. They, they were hard. really, really amazing. So. Um, if it wasn't you, that's okay too. Yeah, if it wasn't Somebody you. Somebody from Australia. <laughs> Um, hey guys, from Patrick. Oh yes, it was me, Anthony. They were so awesome. You should have seen her. She was squealing. <laughs> she really, she really was. Her wall is getting quite. Uh, it's not full, but it's it's growing and it's almost full actually. Thank you, everyone. What do you say? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for everyone for all the educational brochures and for the postcards. It's been it's been fantastic. Um, awesome. And Patrick, if I didn't Sorry. say hi, hello, he's from Columbia, oh, South, cool. South Carolina, um, I think. I take the photos. You do a, an amazing job, Anthony. They were, they were beautiful photos. Beautiful photos. Do you um, have a couple you can get and can uh, share? Yeah. Yes, let's go get them. She's got them on her wall, but we're going to go grab a couple. Barbara, hello. She is from Cape Coral, Florida. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. And Patrick Nobles, thanks for coming. And Mary, hello. Um, so yeah, um, Robin McCree, I missed that because I want to know how the butt pees on his own head, Missy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I want to know too. Yeah. <laughs> like how? Are we it? sure? Is that a for real thing? It is a for real thing. How do it you is. know? Um, Rose Wholesome Roots has told me about it. Like she was petting and said, "Oh, it's wet." Yeah, they pee on their head and they drink it too. Wow. Yeah, they're Some, disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to talk about that. Yeah, that's fun, fun, fun. If I'm missing anybody but saying hello, I'm sorry. Um, Susan Carmichael, hey, and Mary Cleveland, if I already said hi. Um, I love the rabbits, says Anthony. Thank you. We love them. Too. It's like instant happiness. Sam will bring in a rabbit and put it on me, and I'm like, oh, instant happiness. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks, Hank. He says, love your channel. We appreciate that. Very um, so. Is Missy taking notes for this meeting? Says Howie Case. Uh, I'm drawing pictures and now I am. <laughs> she, <laughs> she is taking notes. I read that. I'm like, now I'm going to take notes. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's awesome. um, Western New York <laughs> State. Like, um, is it Lily? Lily. 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 Um, okay, so McCree family says Rose said it, so it has to be true. <laughs> you know, Rose is like the goat ninja. She's like awesome. She's been very helpful with this crazy goat adventure that we have embarked on. I got three postcards. Oh, okay. Here's the postcards. Okay. So he sent us how many? Like a whole bunch. Like 10. But no, this is one of them. No. So pretty. Is that showing very well? That's it backwards. Okay. Oh, it's But so talented. So thank you for sharing your talent and your time. That was really, really awesome. Oh, sorry. Okay, any ideas how to get a breeding pair of rabbits? Says Susan Carmichael. Um, well, we got them. 
because they were living under my sister's house. <laughs> so no. So no. Um, I would just maybe throw it on Facebook. You know, if you're on Facebook, check your local groups and see if anybody has any rabbits. We have heard that the actual meat rabbit breeds that are huge are not as good as the smaller breeds. Hey, you need to stop. You need to stop. So. <laughs> we had this discussion before. No crazy no faces. Crazy faces. <laughs> so yes. Um, so thank you again. People are commenting nice postcards and how they're very pretty. So yes, yeah. thank you again. And he sent a, a dozen of them. They're just gorgeous. So thank you, thank you. Yeah, it means a lot. It really does. So awesome. back to the rabbits real quick. We see. Did you already mention? Like a lot of the local ads, newspapers, yeah. uh, like Craigslist type things in our area, we see rabbits on there all the time. Yes. And some of them are, you know, like show rabbits. Others so will be, I mean, they're all over. So that's where I would start. I would too. Yeah. Your um, local Craigslist or probably like, like if we're going to sell rabbits, that's where we would start posting them as well. So yes. I don't know. So good luck with that. Rabbits are very easy to have and maintain. We've been very happy with them. Yep. In a little bit here, we'll get Sam to go out and grab a rabbit or two and bring them in. We'll show yes. you. Yes, they're growing so fast. But yeah, they're doing really well. We've uh, had no issues with moisture getting into the burrows. the burrows so far. Really loving the bucket burrows mm -hmm. again. The colony is fantastic. It is a little bit harder to catch them, but it just gives them some exercise. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lily, thank you. She says postcards coming soon. I'm keeping keep leaving them on the desk. That's I know. I, I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. Yeah. So good luck with that with the rabbits, um, Susan. That sounds that sounds fun. Hope everybody had if you celebrated Thanksgiving, hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um we sure did. We did. It was amazing. Enjoyed staying at home By and ourselves. being a family. All the kids really liked it. I mean pie. I made a couple pies. Yes, they were gluten free. Oh, they I were made lemon meringue. Lemon meringue. Yeah. Lemon meringue, and we did and a peach pie. pie. You helped. You oh, made yeah. You made that. I one. made the peach pie. I made the crust. Yeah. But she yeah. Had it. yeah. The lemon meringue was amazing. Though. It was very good. Um, it's just nice to. We got some pictures. I did have pictures. We put them on Instagram. Oh, did you? Yes. <laughs> cool. Yes. Awesome. Casey said the video quality is really good tonight, guys. It's oh, good. Because we're amazing. <laughs> uh, let's see what I need to know is can they be related or should I get them from different places so Susan um that is up for debate uh, I don't yeah, yeah we don't some have people a, will tell you it's okay others will tell you uh, it's not preferred but I haven't seen any um, genetic problems from line breeding is what they call it um, personally um so what do they do in the wild you know in the wild genders don't keep track not genders um family lines don't keep track of each other i think it's kind of based on your own personal preference we have not found anything definitive either way yeah so, um, so. and if they are related there's there's like limitations on how many times you can yes before their weird things start happening the longevity so if you're just breeding them to just eat the offspring um, and not necessarily breed the offspring, then you're fine. If you are looking to build up a colony, you might want to look at getting different genetic lines for sure. Yeah, and we're no um, experts on that yet, but we've uh, one thing we've been trying to do and talking about doing uh, is we're, we're looking for some good quality uh, reference material books on both goats and rabbits. So yes, yes. So if you have any. Let us know. Yeah, any suggestions on either of those would be helpful. We, there's a lot out there, and it's just what, which one do you trust and which mm -hmm. one's going to be most helpful for you? Yeah, CZ Horses says um, breeders should not be related. Uh, so that go. makes sense. I've heard that if you do that, it can bring out the good or the bad genetics of both sides, so not risk it. Um, Robin McCree, um, thank you. She says she's excited we found the postcards. Um, her husband used to be in the services, I believe, and so he would go around stations and pick up postcards. So oh, cool. She, they, she showed me some today. They're really awesome. Um, yeah, Holler Homestead, um, yeah, those pies looked amazing. They were so good. They were good. I was sad when they were gone. Where did you get the crusts? 
It's a brand called Gluten Free Heaven. And it, go get one of those cake mixes. It is amazing. I have limitations with gluten, and I can do no nightshade. So a lot of your pre-mixed stuff has potato starch in it. This brand does not have potato starch, and I want to find me a from scratch recipe, but if you're not feeling cool enough to from scratch, gluten-free heaven, it's backwards, it's backwards it's because backwards. It's, it's cool like that, but gluten-free heaven, I if I could and uh, Mama Grows, the channel Mama Grows sent these to me because they were 99 cents marked down at her grocery store. It's like six bucks for one of these at um, my grocery store, so she sent me a whole bunch of these precious spice cakes. <laughs> also, um, the case has just asked, am I seeing right? Is Missy left-handed? Missy is yes. left-handed. I am. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so Gluten-Free Heaven. I do believe it's a local company to Utah. Um, we're in Idaho, but it's a, we're, yeah, they're manufactured in Pleasant Grove. So I don't know how around the world country they are, but look on Amazon or something. This is a really, I really just good. It. Yay! There. Okay, so this is a really, really good gluten free mix. There's a lot of nasty ones out there. This one's really, really good. It's like cinnamon. This one is a spice cake. It's and, delicious. Whoa, that's weird. And Emma made a glaze. <laughs> On oh, it yeah, for Jonah's birthday. Oh, so good. It's good. It's very so good. So, good. and I'll just put it out there. Like, if you're expecting gluten free to ever taste like your regular stuff, it will never, never be the same. Okay, but if you, but if, it gets you've close. Been, if you've been gluten free for so long and you get to sink your teeth into something that yeah. you don't care anymore, it's just good. So, <laughs> you know, when someone says this is the most amazing gluten free, just know. In the fine print, will never taste like regular food. <laughs> that pie crust was close. Well, it's, not you can get close, but it'll yeah. never, it'll always be off. Yes, Mama Gross is in the house. She says, hey there, I did send them. She needed them in her life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so CZ Horses um, agrees. She, they said, if you use related parents, you should butcher the offspring rather than breed them. Breed them. Figure um, this out so we're more so. centered. <laughs> um, let's see. Getting started on the homestead. Hello, tried peeing on my head, but the girls did not like that. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. preferred in the human world. <laughs> it's funny. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, now it's, Casey said now it's backwards to us. Well, because you're sitting on opposite sides. Mm. Oh, wait, wait. Well so. well, so we're backwards, but does the text of oh. this show up right? Right, I'm on the other side. Now that's gonna bother me. <laughs> I made the cases move in their live stream because they weren't on the right sides of each other. She mm. did. I did. I was like, that's not gonna work for me. Okay, so the, the text shows up right. Well, this is so, just the way it's gonna have to be. Oh, hollers! Thanks for coming. Dinner time. Uh, they're in California, so they're an hour. It's not backwards, but um, let's see. CZ Horses says um, detriments don't show up for several generations. So that would be sad to get a breeding stop, and then you find out later you've got like crazy rabid bunnies or something. Oh, it is backwards. No, it's backwards. Um, what did oh. you do to the video? <laughs> so for us, yeah. it, Mr. We'll Techie will go fix it. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Okay, now we're now we're all, all is right. So when I look at this in our our preview. This is all backwards, even though oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we know. So you guys can read it correctly. I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Well, then we won't. Then we look like nerds. It's backwards. <laughs> awesome. Um. Let's see. Flying at VS Farm. Thanks for coming. This is we bake gluten free and paleo once in a while, and it's taken some time to get used to it. I know Jonah doesn't love it. He's a champ. And he does pretty good. So. Uh, I'll eat it, but I'll eat it, but he's in love it. I don't know. You grow up for so long eating one thing, and it just is. Not it's like not the same. I know it's sad. Like there are certain comfort foods that you know. Like, I don't know. I made like blueberry muffins, and Mom and Missy loved them. I did not like them. Really? Yeah, I didn't. Oh, they were so good, but yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't either. Yeah, they were gross. No. I could have eaten them all. No. But yeah, it's hard when you can't eat it. I mean, they'll do. It's passable. Yeah. 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 So, but hey, what do you do? 
Huh. Awesome. So yeah, they're saying it was fine at first and then now it's backwards. Flying so. J says it's now it's backwards. That's yeah. funny. Well, now it's we fixed it. So anyway, well, it's sorry, it's guys. Really, it's yeah. Flying no, J. no, they're it's behind. No, no, it's good. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Moving on. No, she's just called Flying BS Flying J. Flying oh. J. Awesome. An <laughs> insult. I could not do without my breadsticks. I know. I know. It's really hard. But you know what? You learn to do without when it makes you very sick. So it's just, what do you got to do? Interest, interested, what is your favorite meal? What's your favorite meal, children? Um, well, gluten-free or regular. <laughs> <laughs> because I could come up with one of each. Well, they do. Favorite gluten-free, the pie we had. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a meal. And favorite regular meal, um, you know, it changes all the time. Uh, yeah. Spaghetti. Okay. It's funny because we have that a lot. No, no. What's your favorite? Is that even a question? I know. Meatloaf. That's Meatloaf. her favorite. Emma, what's your favorite? Meatloaf corn. I, Meatloaf I really corn. like hamburgers. Well, like, all my hamburgers. <laughs> Robin at McCree Family Homestead makes her own hamburger buns, and they look amazing. Yeah. Emma, what's your favorite? Oh, you said hamburgers. What's, what what's your favorite, Sarah? We did Sarah? this last time. Not the favorite food. I know. We did. No, we did favorite TV show. Oh. <laughs> and I don't know what my favorite food is right now because I just have. My favorite. I don't know. My favorite is anything that Sarah's I favorite can food eat. is cookies. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah. So this. Uh, oh, that's funny. Actually, we used to tease my dad about having his own company with Flying J, Flying versus GS Farm. <laughs> that's funny. Awesome. <laughs> You, um, so with the uh, bunnies, it says, yeah, you lose fertility and hardiness. Not worth the heartache. No, I agree yeah. with that. I agree. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah. yeah. You and how we have so much in common. So much. Awesome. Yeah, All we do. So, I wish we were neighbors. Uh, uh, cases. <laughs> awesome. Uh. Awesome. <laughs> So um, we picked up the buck. Do we want to go into that? Yeah, let's talk about the buck. So you guys saw, I assume, that video where we brought home the buck. Yeah. What if are we, we doing? Didn't, then watch it. <laughs> what are we doing with the buck, sweetie? So we're just gonna borrow him. We have toyed with the idea: would we want to keep him? Would we like to just have him instead of paying to rent him? Because we have an option to buy him. Yeah, there is an option to purchase. He is beautiful, beautiful. His feet are atrocious, and they need a good trim. Beautifully, beautifully disgusting. Yeah, he is beautiful. His beard is like a beard envy. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, um. Anyway, so <laughs> covered in pee. And yeah. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Yes. I don't, you know, he's just got a very musty smell. It's not too bad. It's not but bad. At all. It's not great, but it's not terrible. It's not like a horrible smell. It's no. just. It's not there. Funny. Like you go out there now, and that's what you smell. <laughs> you smell. Yeah, it's very strong. And, and it gets on you like nothing else, right? Yeah, the smell. It almost you permeates him. you yeah. without you even touching him, I would say. So, but I don't find it like stinky, like gross or. I don't find it offensive. I, I, I had it on my jacket and I'm sitting there doing my school and I'm like, Mom, does this smell like fuck? <laughs> yep. <laughs> How? I'm like, Missy wore it yesterday. <laughs> anyway, so the plan, I don't know the exact plan, but we are just going to borrow him and we're going to figure it out. Yeah. That's what we're going to say about that. Um, getting started on homesteading said, how is the girls today after you put the buck in with them? Um, Pumpkin is very aloof. She does not want, she doesn't socialize much with him. Apple is all over him. Rubbing on him, next to him. I had to go get her to put her in the milking parlor. Um, but Pumpkin like ran in, you know, but yeah. And I clip him to the fence so um, he's not free ranging while I'm um, milking. But um, yeah, the girls are fine. There's really no stress or anything. It's been wonderful. Yeah. I was out there earlier uh, just getting some B roll shots of them. And, you know, you couldn't tell that they were strangers to each other at all. So. Um, they're doing really well together. One Winifred Allison. Allison um, she, let's see. Um, she raised milk milk goats in the 70s. I was shocked when I met my first fat goat. <laughs> I have never been on when someone was live. Ta-da! Yay! 
Oh yeah, why did you join this live? You know, I went and met a buck oh a month ago to interview to see if I wanted to use him, and I was a bit shocked too. I mean, he was like, Oh, you interviewed it? Yeah, I interviewed it. What questions did you ask? Um, nothing because it was freaking me out. Uh, (laughs) It was like looking. It was. It was. It was crazy. Anyway. Yeah, so the the reason we got it was just for breeding right now. We're, yes. We yeah, we're paid just the, use him. the breeding fee or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And drove the oh, four hours total to go get him. Yes, it was two hours round trip. It just happened to like, work out. Not two hours round trip. Oh, two one, way. one way. Sorry. Four hours round trip, $50 or plus in gas. Yeah. So I, you know. I could have found one more local, but Julie from Dirt Patch is where we got the girls. I trust her opinion on goats, and she had mentioned that this goat was very good. And so I think next breeding round, I will find somebody more local now that I have more knowledge under my belt. And I can rely on my own knowledge instead of somebody else's. And so that's really why we drove. Oh, and we went. Sunny. Oh, and we, we had a homeschool meetup um, through our through our homeschool program that we were able to go and do that dual purpose. So it was really yeah it took was, advantage of that. Was good. So that helped. Yes. So Sunny DIY. Yes, I did. He looked like a total sweetheart. Although I don't get why grow coats like the smell of pee and grosses. Right? They even pee in their mouth. See, it's a thing. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> I know. Gross. Um, yeah, Major Musk, says Lily. Um, buck odor, nothing like it. Major Musk. And I, I didn't. Yeah, musky. Very musk, musky. Very musky. Um, okay, so cases. I noticed he had no horns. So the babies won't have any have horns either, right? No, they um, dehorn them. Um, you can see the little bit of a horn right there, but. So yeah, they will. They will have horns. You yeah. just have to dehorn when they're babies. Yeah. Um, what about giving the buck goat a bath, Anthony? I don't think it would help. He'd just pee on himself again. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so I, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Take a hose to the buck. No. <laughs> no. Um, I can't imagine because I mean he's very sweet, but I'm sure he would get very unsweet if I unleashed a hose on him. Um. Yeah, and um, flying VS car says Anthony, it doesn't work because they'll just do it. They'll be right back at it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let's see. Not only do they have glands to smell, but the peeing on themselves. Wow. Yeah. One. Winifred. That's it's, it's no fun. Um, gorgeous. They're gorgeous goats. Thank you. Um, I haven't heard of a hornless goat. I know. Wouldn't that be nice though? And you know what's dumb is when we got the calves. I didn't realize that they had horns. And so we're like, oh, we have to dehorn them? I was like, I didn't know cows had <laughs> What about longhorn cows? <laughs> well, I knew longhorn cows, but I didn't know a Holstein would have horns. Yeah, I just, you know, you never see them with horns. So yeah. I'm, I'm well, learning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So awesome. Cattle can be pulled, but most goats have horns unless you horn. I don't know what it means by cattle can be pulled. pulled. What does that mean? Does that mean it gets bred out of them to not have horns? I wonder. Help us out, CZ. Help us out. Um, let's see. And, you know, Teresa, I didn't realize that they that they had scent glands in their horns. Somebody on our... In their horns or near their horns? Well, I think it says right here, yeah, buck scent, scent glands are burned off with the horns if done right. So maybe it's by the horns. I don't know. See, we... we we need to get a hold of some reference books, learn some more. Yeah. But somebody mentioned on the video that the when they get dehorned, some of the scent goes away, and I I had no idea. So it's really cool. Well, this book's got plenty of scent still. So yes, he does. I can't imagine it much stronger. That would be awful. That would be awful. I mean, you can smell it just walking out the back door. We have thought about keeping them, mm-hmm. I, and I mean, because he's he's really. He's I think so he's really cool. Sweet. He's neat looking. And the idea of having this buck mm-hmm. around, but you know, we're we're thinking from at it from a uh, um, what am I trying to say? Sustainability perspective. Feeding him, uh, he's gonna eat a lot. And we're only gonna need him a couple times. We could, we could. What is this? Uh, Stud him out? Is that what you call it? But then you've got to worry about. I don't know. 
um, bringing in disease to your own herd, yeah. you have to be very selective of who he breeds with. Have they done their Have they done their testing on their girls? And I'm just not sure that we're ready for that right now. You know, we're just jumping into goats. I'm just worried about jumping in too deep, too fast. Yeah. So <clears throat> let's see. So yeah, we have one reason. Paul, 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 is it Paul or Paul? Have no horns naturally. Oh, okay. So we were on the right. Thank you. Well, that, that, okay. cool. so, let's see. Sunny um, says rabbits and animals have some sort of scent glands on their chins as well. I think because my boys always rub their chins on everything to mark their territory. Interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, had a cashmere years ago. He had horns and he was rank. <laughs> you know, um, my friend Kathleen at Mama Girl, she's in here. Um, she's been toying with the idea of getting it wanting to get a goat for fiber or something how are their milk um if they're a, uh, sarah gets bad mosquito bites and she'd like you to see that we have a mosquito living in our house because it's too cold outside well those are like several weeks old yeah like last week and she oh, just week. they get so big and she just hamburgers herself because they itch so bad and so um if you get a fiber goat do they have good milk or are they just for fibers? Anybody know? I would love to know that. Um, let's see. We don't really have goats. I'm very good with goats. Yeah, we've, we've seen them, Anthony. Thank you. We, okay. Um, they do make milk, just not tons. Okay, and is it good? Sam, want to go grab or some rabbits? Yeah, go get, a, get us a bunny. Um, yeah, so... But I mean, who cares if they have milk? If if you're using them for fiber, it would just be uh -huh. nice to have a dual purpose. But yeah, I mean, yeah. if you're not getting it for like milk production, yeah. it'd be cool to have a dual purpose goat. I think it would. Yeah. Um. And Mama Gross was talking about a cashmere, not a cashmere, angora rabbit, but it was a mixed with something else. What was it, Kathleen? The the rabbit that you wanted um in. Rigby, where I just happened to be for the goats. I'm like, had you told me like three hours sooner, I could have picked it up. But you can get um, fiber off of the rabbit as well. That would be that would be really cool. But then you got to learn how to spin. That is something I would like to do, though. That would be cool. Um, I don't know their chin. They look so funny trying to rub on. Huh. Oh, Cashmere is goat. It's too. goat too. Oh, really? I had no idea. <laughs> hey, Tigger Bouncing. Thanks for coming. Um, did you solve the mystery of the book? No. no. And, you know, everybody, everybody kept saying it's, it was the hose, but the hose wasn't left in it. So, and so there were no tracks of like deer, because we do have deer that migrate through, and you can see the tracks in the morning. None of that. Yeah. So. so the hose wasn't in there. And I just don't even know. No. I, I was talking to my friend Rose at Wholesome Roots, and I said, maybe I heard of antelope come through. And she got all serious. She says, do you have antelope? No. No, we don't. <laughs> no, it was just kind but of it was kind occasionally of funny. a moose or two. Yeah. I don't know. But really, knows? really bad. That's a lot of water regardless. For I mean. Right. And it was raining all night. So it's not like it evaporated. Aliens. It's aliens. Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> No. So that was still a mystery. Yeah. So Teresa says my sister raises meat goats and she gets milk for orphans or to help with not getting mastitis. That is really awesome. That's cool. That is really awesome. Um, how is your boy? Everyone wants to see baby? the rabbits. Yes, go get rabbits. You want, you want to see the goat. Go. I'm finishing this one. Thank you. She's trying to finish her hey, goat. Get, get, go. uh, get suited up. It's cold. It's cold. While Missy gets there. ready. Or don't. Um, mohair comes from an Angora goat. If you get good jeans, it can be a dream to spin. Oh, that's fun. I've never even tried to spin. Um, ever. So well, see, I think that would be a great activity to do, to do through the winter, you know? I do too. It'd be a great homeschool project, huh, guys? You love to crochet. Spinning. You can make you your own yarn. It would be <laughs> cool. That would be amazing. Um, when in Idaho sent me some real fiber yarn, two skeins of it, and I'm just like, oh. So I'm really excited. Hey, go. So I'm really excited to make something for myself. Well, it's so hard to make something for yourself. You always make things for other people. I have so a lot of notes. We'll see. Yes, you do. Good job. <laughs> awesome. I'm sharing Dan's comments. Okay, so Angora goats make milk. 
but not a lot beyond that for their babies. I didn't know there were Angora milk. No. Goats. Angora milk. Goats. <laughs> Goats. Yes. Okay. Hello. I just got to Angora rabbits and I'm looking into spinning. I was inspired by Dirt Dirt Pat Homestead. Yes. And you know, I was at her homestead yesterday and it was really weird to see her little tiny house all plasticed up and nobody's there. It was like it was really kind of sad. You Where know? is she right now? She um Oklahoma? Went to go Oklahoma, her where her husband is going to school. So now they're, and I don't know um, what her current plan is. I mean, they're kind of deciding if they're going to stay there or look elsewhere or come back. I think it's kind of up in the air. Oh, really? Has but, she talked yeah. about it? No. Yeah, so that's kind of just yeah. what's going on there. But start out with a drop spindle. Okay, yeah, check out Julianne's videos. It helps to learn. Yeah, and I, I know that she's put up a few and um, talked about it. I just haven't. You know, with making YouTube, and homeschooling and being a mom, I don't get a lot of time to watch YouTube. So um, I just need to wake up earlier, right? <laughs> Who needs sleep? Let's see. Lily has been spinning since the 70s. That's awesome. That's really cool. Let's see. Mama Grow says, hopefully, hopefully homesteader. I want and grow rabbits too. Dirt Patch makes oh, it look so doable. Yeah. Okay. What were you going to say? Oh, I'm just reading ahead. Sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. Well, Anthony <laughs> in Australia was saying the government introduced a virus to kill off wild <laughs> rabbits, which is sad. Yeah, but if it's overpopulated, I mean, it would be uh, know, obnoxious but... to have rabbits eating your garden. Like my sister, yeah. that's how we kind of got ours. She's like, they're eating everything. So yeah, they can be, they can be annoying if they become a rodent or a pest. So... For sure. Oh, Mary, under patch is about two hours from me. Um, which way? We are two hours from her. South. South. So, anyway. Um, useful to start to learn. It's easier than on a rabbit. Okay, that's good to know. So I'm going to just make Kathleen learn. Mama grows, and then she can just give me the, the yarn. <laughs> I'm kidding. Maybe. <laughs> awesome. So they're just kind of chatting about the price of rabbits. Um, let's see. Hello, being a goat farmer for 40 years. This is, um, I, I'm not going to, nothing gets, I'm not going to pronounce your name because I will butcher it. Um, any more stinky than a buck. Well, you that's, keep her in that. That's why you don't run your buck. With yeah. Those. And if we kept them, we, we, uh, would definitely keep them separate. Yes. But yeah. And from what I, I understand is if we, if we practice cleanly practices, clean your hands after touching him. You shouldn't have an issue with the milk really? um, for short term, but long term could be a whole different animal. But wow. um, from what I understand is if you wash your hands, you keep everything nice and tidy, get a lid on the milk so it can't get into the milk um, right after you milk it, um, you shouldn't have an off-putting flavor. So I don't know. We'll hope that that's true. Um, let's see. They use rabbit to make hats. That's awesome. Like the pelts. That would be really cool. Yep, I am going to um, I am going to make something with the rabbit pelts this year. This next. This next um, cycle yeah. of dispatch. Yep. Um, I think how old are they now? And what do you know? Are they about like six, six weeks? Four, no, four, not six weeks. Four, maybe three four, or four, three or four. Okay, so they're about a month old, and you dispatch about twelve weeks. Yeah, so twelve to fourteen. A couple weeks, more months. So, yeah, that'd be so. good. Yep. Buck taint. Yes. Gross. We're getting close to the point where we're providing all our own protein. Yeah. We really are. Um, I mean, have you had to buy any? Other than we bought some eggs because our chickens were... Chickens run strike. So I've had to buy eggs, but no, protein. I haven't had to buy a protein. I mean, the pig, the chickens, the turkey, the We just used rabbits. our last of the ground turkey, so we Did don't we? have any more. And since we pardoned the three that we have, probably have to buy some of that. Unless we unless we take care of one of them. Yeah. There's three's, little. Three's a lot. Yeah. We don't need that many for breeding. breeding. I don't think. Yeah. They're ridiculous no. to catch if you haven't seen that vlog. <laughs> You've gotten better. Oh, I've gotten better. Even in okay. the dark. Yeah, it's easy horses. Unless he pees on your girls. That is true. Oh, I hope gross. he doesn't do that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Apple does rub her head all through. She does. She likes to snuggle him. 
hopefully Homestead, or I was going to buy a drop spindle kit from Dirt Patch Homestead, but she's not selling them anymore. So I've been looking on Amazon for drop spindle kits. If anyone knows anything better, let me know. Um, yeah, I, I think she had a problem with her joke with her, um, what's it called? The fireplace flooded her um, cabin with smoke and it ruined her fibers. And so I think that's why she took down the ones for sale because all of her fiber was smoky. Huh. I think is what I caught yeah. from her live stream. So, um, okay. All right. You're cold out, you Sam. Izzy, did you wear a jacket? Here's the baby. Whoa. It almost died. <laughs> so, they are so big. It's so warm in here. <laughs> I know, it's almost a little too warm in here. We were cold and we turned up the heater, and now I'm, I'm never warm, but I am warm. So, um, let's wow, see. Wow, that's a soft pair of I gloves know. right there. <laughs> oh, I really like your bunny buckets. Thank you very much, Cat. I'm just going to call you Cat. Cat Baloo Couple. <gasps> Sorry. Um, we are really, really loving it. Loving the colony, the bucket burrows. We really have been really happy with it. Should I say really one more time? I really was yeah. really, really, I'm really happy. Really happy. Super with it. excited for this to be. To have a great rabbit colony using this this method. So. Yes, and we're really excited. We're going to expand it. We have lots of really awesome plans to expand, to have a grow out, to have. We're yeah. really excited. Yeah, flying. I'm sorry, your chickens are on strike too. That is no fun. No fun. And uh, Mama grows. She needs a set of hands from without the kids. I said that so wrong. She needs to be free from kids to learn to spin. That is so true. Sunny, I'm not sure if it was a rocket mask or the other one. I just I was on her live stream where she was talking it was about her rockets. it, and I missed I the very beginning of it, so I sure didn't was. I didn't catch it all. So let's see. I've been looking locally, but I live in Central Florida. So there's not a lot of Angora rabbits. Um, yeah, that's hard. Huh. Yeah. Um, two hour drive to get an animal is, is hard. I would know that. <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, your chickens have just started laying again. That is great. And see, our, it doesn't get super hot here. And so they don't go on strike because of the heat like they do for you. Um, now it's freezing cold and they go on strike. Is that? Yeah. Okay, yes, it was her rocket mass heater. Yeah. So, awesome. Um, I'm always late to live streams. I know, and sometimes YouTube doesn't give up the notification in time and, and whatever. Yeah. So, um, oh, Dirt Patch is on. We've been talking about you. You must have heard. <laughs> Your buddy is so cute. Yes. Yes, so fun. Look at that face. Um, yes, we got Durango yesterday. Um, Amanda, is that her name? Yeah. She's so nice, and she really helped us out and loaded him up. And he's so sweet, just like you said, perfect gentleman. Um, he has been so good to the girls. Apple won't leave him alone. She's sure. rubbing her, her head all over him and getting all stinky. <laughs> but he's amazing. Emma, tell we had to run to um, the... Uh, the grocery store real quick after we left oh. because um, driving home two hours we were starving. So we hit the grocery store. I said, Emma, we were only in there for like five, ten minutes. I said, Emma, run outside, make sure drink is okay. So, and I, so I'm like, okay, so I, I was pointing my nose because he was stinky. And so I, I was like this, and I peek over the top, and he's up there and he's going, staring right at me. And I like totally like jumped out. I was there too, like, like What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> I, I knew he was there, so that's a dumb thing. I totally screamed. And so oh. I was laughing because I'm like, you knew there was a goat in there. I asked him to this, check on the goat. She's at the computer later, and she starts bursting out loud. Like, you knew he was there. I'm like, what? <laughs> so this morning, I bust up laughing at the computer mom. Like, you? I'm looking at the stupid goat. <laughs> Not a stupid goat. It was really, really funny. <laughs> so yeah, he is he's a wonderful stinky, stinky goat. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Case has said, don't feel bad, Trish. We need to take Ellie two hours away to breed her. Well, good luck with that. Good luck. Um, wow. I'm grateful that um, we had the horse trailer. It made the, the drive so nice for him. <clears throat> so yeah. that'd be great. Um, 
let's see, hopefully I would have to drive five hours one way for the $50 Angora rabbits. I know what's funny is I was, Mama Grows, there's a rabbit exactly where I was in, in Rigby and she wanted to yeah. get it. Anyway, we already talked about what that. What do you do? Yeah, Tigger, the bunnies are getting so big. I know it's crazy how fast they grow. Just a few weeks ago, they were skinned. And this Ugly batch beans. of rabbits <clears throat> has been so much better at like the other ones, we had issues with them trying to escape all the time. Mm -hmm. And these guys, they just stick around. Yep, well, they're more chill. Sometimes they out of the chicken wire, but they go back. They yeah. stay in the colony. The other yeah. ones were all over the dang place. And I don't know if it's because we have a burrow for them, a mm -hmm. couple burrows, and we've made it more. Well, I think they feel more with all the logs there. and stuff. They know where home is. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. But yeah, it's been a lot different. And it's been a lot less stressful um, yeah. to have them in the ground in the buckets. Um, yeah. I don't know why. We had problems with bot flies, and I think that was brought on by rodents um, in our first litter. And so it's just been much better to have them more close to nature. And this batch has been a lot fluffier because it's winter. Yeah. Oh, that could be. Maybe that's, maybe that's <laughs> Julie says he is so stinky, isn't he? And that bear, I would be startled too. <laughs> it was, I, I was like, I don't know why. I knew he would be there, but I was like, yeah, I, 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 I was dead. And just like, Ooh. And he's so big. He's like a little horse. I mean, he is huge. Yeah, is that normal for bucks of that breed? So, I don't know. Um, Rosa Olsen Root said she looked it up and she said that alpine bucks are among the largest. Oh, all really? bucks. So I don't know, Julie. Do you know anything on that, or anybody else in here? Um, let's see. Getting started on homesteading, we had a buck goat with horns, and every time I turned my back, it put a horn in my backside. Sammy wow. has a story about that. <laughs> we were the first time we were at Julie's house. Um, no, when we were picking up the girls. Oh, when we were picking up the girls, he leaned over to pick up a little kitten, and all of a sudden the girls were like, "Why are you on the ground?" And he's like, "It kicked me," and I'm busting up. He's crying. I was busting up. I'm like, "It probably headbutted you." <laughs> you know, you bend over. And <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> so anyway, um, do, do, do. I need some bucket burrows. Yes, you do, Mama Grows. Yes, you do. Her little pug. Likes to go hang out with the rabbits. I, I love that pug. So I know there's a couple people on here that have that have raised goats um, a lot longer than we have. I was watching another channel the other day. They were talking about um, goats and why they switched from goats to a milk cow. And one of the things they brought up was that goats would goats constantly test. Fencing. The fencing for weaknesses and whatever, like constantly. And I could see that to a point, like the goats we have, um, you know, when we first got them, they were always pushing on the fences and everything <laughs> like that. And they also mentioned even if they put up electric wire, they would still be testing it every day. And so I completely disagree with that, at least in my case. We put up the electric wire, mm -hmm. and they stay away from the very first day they got shocked. They have not gone back since. They won't touch it. They They're respect very it. You can see them see it, even, and they back up. Even the, even the buck. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a section out there that doesn't have electric wire, and you know, so they go right up to the next to the fence there. But everywhere else, they. So I was surprised by that and wondered. Are we just lucky or, you know, was this just a selling point to try and convince people that cows are better? I don't know. Yeah, and I've heard um, that, I don't know, that, that among the homesteading channels, people are saying that goats are a fad. They're like the in thing to do. And I don't see it as a fad. I mean, or it's a good fad. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Flying asked if we have a yarn shop nearby. Not really. Um, Walmart. Joanne's. Joanne's, nothing special. I know there's a store down in Logan that's called Knit Unique, and their commercials drive me crazy. I will not shop there. I will not. <laughs> no, I can't. Can't do it. Um, so. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Sunny says, My mini Rex's daughter, Banshee, named after the scream she made in the night when I got her. I think I remember. Four feet, a determined rabbit will find a way. Wow. Yeah, climb. You know what? Our dog scaled a <laughs> six foot dog kennel. Yeah. One, because we put him in there while we were trying to sell our old home. And my neighbor says I couldn't believe it. 
he scaled a six foot dog kennel to get out a dog enclosure ridiculous i think um i saw yeah julie from dirt patch she says dragon is not nearly as well behaved as durango i will have a scar forever from dragon she got gored in the hand um, oh is that what that was yes she wow. got in between um when a like stabbed, stabbed. so she got in between um a fight between the doe and the boy they were trying to breed them I hope I'm not butchering your story, Julie, but um, she was in between them and she got the, the headbutt. headbutt and it just went right up in through her hand. Oh, wow. so yeah, it was, um, I think she has a vlog on that. So I know she talked about it on her live stream and oh, it's just sad. Okay. A well-fed cow will not test a fence. We only had one issue with our calves when they ran through the fence. <laughs> um but then never again yeah yeah like they and i yeah cows when they get startled to the point where they just lose their mind and run through whatever yeah. that's what happened there yeah. so. they were just they, you know yeah anyway so um cat says alpine are big goats but wonderful milkers and mothers i really have been so happy with my girls um apple has a stronger personality pumpkin has social anxiety but i love them. Yes, yes. i love them i know emma's favorite is is pumpkin and i you know i love them both for their own reasons but i just, I I just like love my girls i love them um i have a pygmy for weed control so i'm not much help Hey, that's a great meat controller. Um, I hope it stays that way. I hope you don't have fence issues. I hope so too, Mama Girls. Thank you. Um, goats are not a fad if they are good genetics. I agree, Julie. I very much agree. Um, but so, we certainly didn't get goats because it was what everyone was do. doing. You know, we had plenty of fun watching other people channel other people's channels that were showing their goats and stuff but, yeah. but the primary drive for us was to the milk yeah with my autoimmune issues i mean i just wanted something that i could have so, so and beyond the milk we've really just enjoyed them i think they're i think they're a great yeah. animal pet even if you wanted them to be a pet i agree and i may give up some control one of these days Maybe and teach lucky. my girls to milk <laughs> It's like a control it's thing. Like a control. <laughs> I know. I will one day give up that control. and Because, you know, there was a few days ago I was having an autoimmune day. I was struggling. And I was almost crying as I was milking because my hands were hurting. It was really sad, it actually. It was she, pathetic. <clears throat> but, yeah, it was sad. And Emma's like, I wish I could help. I'm like, me too. I mean, and it's not a hard thing to do. But when you're not feeling well, Anyway, yes, Mama Girls, you are trendy hipsters with your goats. That's right, we are. Yeah. <laughs> okay, terrible to keep in. Mine walked five acres to a neighbor's deck to eat her rose. Wow. <laughs> that was and, terrible. Terrible. And, um, I mean, Apple did get out and ate a good part of our willow and ate a good part of our pine, pine tree. tree but that was before the electric fence. Yeah, that was before we got it under control. I don't know. So almost everyone here have we'll meat goats in the field, and I've never seen them trying to get out. Yeah, mm -hmm. so <laughs> some dogs will jump back and forth just to show you can't fence them in, even if <laughs> even give a cocky look like your move. I know, right? Let's see. My um one Winifred says my goat jumped a several foot seven seven. 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 I can't read. Uh, mind you, she was alone. Didn't understand the need for a goat. You know, if they have, they're they're herd animals, and so they're happier in sets of two. So maybe, maybe she just wanted to be with you. Yeah, <laughs> I Brian, Brian Kerwick, get a milking machine. Hey, Brian. Um, you know, milking machines. You gotta have power. You gotta have money. You gotta have money. <laughs> so, well, I mean, if we really wanted it, we would. We'd make it work to where we could get one, and we, yeah. So you know, I don't think those are valid excuses necessarily. Right, and you but, know, milking—it's a good skill to have. I mean, if the grid goes down, if your milk machine breaks, I mean, you gotta know how to do it too. So right yeah. now, we have the time and energy yeah. to do it. So we'll, I think it's good experience. I and agree. We, and uh, it'll be a good, good thing for Emma to do next too. Very much and agree. then Missy. You can even nurse kittens and puppies on goat's milk, whereas cow milk will run straight through them. 
and they don't digest it properly. Yes, I've heard you can even give it to infants in an emergency situation that some that you can raise mm -hmm. a baby on it as well. And we have talked about the possibility of you know raising bum lambs or you know in the future future or doing another calf bottle calf and feeding the milk and if we do pigs again we'll have the milk for the pigs and so you know we're just really excited to have a milking animal on the homestead um let's see are the lady goats any nosier with the buck noisier noisier not yet I don't think I've even heard the bug make a noise uh, the, the buck has yes. it I know apple was yelling at me as I was walking away earlier so not yet. I think she's going into heat. I do think she's going into heat. So yeah. that is a happy thing. Her milk production's down. She's. Mm -hmm. I've got three pages of notes. Yes, cleaner and more sanitary. I agree, Brian. Um, but for now, we'll just do the best we can with the sanitary things we can do. Sure. So um, we're getting close to time. This yeah. has been really fun. Any questions you guys want to throw up? Now well, is a good time to do it. Questions. So Howard's asking, I mentioned earlier about YouTube Identity Crisis. Oh, yes, and then we started chatting. <laughs> yeah. Good time um, to go into that. Uh, yeah, so we're struggling a little bit, I think. Um, trying to figure out where we can... Where are niches in this huge market of YouTube homesteading? Right? Yeah, because it is... Uh, what is the word? Flooded? Flooded. Yeah, right now. So we're struggling, and uh, I've been I've been asking people, everyone that I know that I can get to watch your videos. You know, everybody at work, where I spend the majority of my time, none of them have any desire to watch the kind of content we put out. And they're vocal about it. And they're very vocal about it, and uh, we're so grateful for everybody that does watch us, and it means a lot. But we're struggling, and we're not. I'm not saying we're giving up, but we're really struggling. So, um, we've been trying a few different things lately with our videos, um, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, and so I, I guess I'm not sure. When you talk to people mouth to mouth. And they tell you, why are you doing this? You're so stupid. It can it can wear on you. And you're like, why am I doing this? You know, but then we come on these live streams and we have beautiful friends and people that join us and talk and like mindedness and you know, it kind of rejuvenates our want to keep going. You know, but it, it gets discouraging when everybody's like, Why are you doing that? That's dumb. Yeah. You know? it's like, why why should we do and, this? And and I guess I guess part of the reason we really start questioning lately is I mean, we're, we're, we want to grow, you know, make this a, a productive thing for us. So it's hard to pour energy and time into it when it doesn't produce much for you in return. Yet. Uh, yet. Can, but but we have dreams and we have goals with it that we want to accomplish. And we have a drive to do it. We're, we're struggling right now um, to grow. I mean, our growth is so slow. And we see all these channels around us that are are growing so much faster than us. <laughs> like they're a thousand in the world. It's hard. It's hard work. I'm not complaining. You know, like hard work is good and I appreciate hard work, but we're just trying to find our place in all this. How can we what niche can we fill? How can what can we provide or do more that will help our channel grow quicker or not necessarily quicker, just continue to keep it growing. And so we're I guess We've changed a few things, and that's why we've changed them. We're trying to, you know, test the waters in a few different ways. We thought about doing uh, more, uh, more video content uh, more frequently, like sometimes two videos a day, just shorter ones. But less uh, edited. Maybe less edited, yeah. and, and still do a, a more edited. Uh, if you want to call it a feature. <laughs> it's easy. That's awesome. But, Every show you know, can't be what everyone wants. Ignore the whiners. <laughs> that's so true yeah well and it's not about people whining necessarily it's just I'm having a hard time getting feedback or uh, you know like the people that I'm around face to face with every day I don't get I don't positive get any advice. positive feedback or any encouragement to keep going I just get yeah I don't get it <laughs> why are you doing it and I for the most part ignore that because they they all live in a different type of reality, if you want to call it reality, 
which is fine. Nothing against them, but you know, they're not they're not homesteaders. They don't get this lifestyle. So I, I can understand that. Um, so anyway, we're we're just trying. So I guess yeah. be patient with us. If yeah. you have anything, leave it in the comments, please. Um, hey, Big Bear. If you like something different we did, you know, say something yeah. about it. Yeah, we love feedback. Give us feedback, good or bad. Be nice if you're if it's good if it's that we're doing bad. And though. a few people have said keep doing what you're doing, and, and I appreciate you. that, and that yes. is helpful. So yes. that's encouraging. And um, somebody, so, love, thank you, Cindy. She says love watching you, family. Thank you. We really, we really appreciate it. Yeah, I don't want this to come up as whiny or crying or anything. I'm just trying yeah. to maybe shed some perspective on maybe why things have been different lately so and on a real you know not not to put you know smoke and screens i mean it's real we're you know trying to be open yeah, and real open about and it so. um somebody said something i was gonna look they don't have the guts to do a youtube vids keep up the good work you're not stupid said sandra hansen thank you you know guts it does take guts to get in front of that camera our early videos i'm just like i can't be like hello yeah. <laughs> So I, I was watching one of the videos where I was first going to guitar. Well, and, and yeah. I, in my face, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm smiling like an idiot. Hi, I'm getting, getting started. Thanks for coming. So sorry, I have to go. It's call time, call for mail time. Have a great night and God bless. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And and Howard says you guys are growing at a real rate, and 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 we are growing. I just want it to grow faster. I know. Uh, and so Instant I internalize it. Like, we're not growing fast because I'm doing something wrong. I'm not doing enough. I need to be different. I need to, you know, so the struggle is real. Yes, thank you, Casey. He'll send us some ideas later. Cool. And um, how's the wall coming since Big Bear? The what wall. wall? My postcard. Oh, oh, the postcard wall. So we were. I was gonna. Maybe I did. I was meant to message you, Big Bear. We got. Have we gotten two from a friend of Big Bear? So awesome. thank you. That means so much to us that you shouted that out. The wall's looking good. She'll post an update on her Instagram after this live show. Um, we got a whole bunch from somebody in Australia. Why can't I remember his name already? Is it Anthony? Yeah. Anthony, yeah. Anthony, yes, he sent us a bunch that he from Australia, and they're trickling in. And gosh, we're just she's loving them. I need to record her opening the PO box and giggling. It's really cute. Um, Teresa says I really enjoy what you do, and I'm not a homesteader. I'm a wannabe. I'm 64 years old, and just not up for the whole thing alone. That's hard. It's a lot of work. Um, yes, thank you, Big Bear. Trust me when I say haters are going to hate. Don't let them get you down. Yeah, and Spend and the haters, and the haters. Yeah, you know, I, I've gotten to the point. You have to if you're on YouTube, get the thick skin to let the haters just blow by you. But oh, flying! Thank you, thank you. Um, they're saying that they're not interested in all the homesteading channels doing the same thing, but our personalities are unique. Well, that's cool. That's what I, do. I guess that's well, all you can do is be yourself. Yeah. I just, I, I, I look at what we do and I think, what, what. You know, I feel like people want to watch something that they get something out of, and I'm like, well, what value are we providing people? We can't teach something every day. You know, um, we're not that cool. Yeah, because we're just starting in all of this. We we're not experienced like a lot of other people are, like Big Bear with your your traps and stuff. I wish I had something like that. That to say this is cool. I mean, my you skills, know how to do this. Okay. My skills that I'm really good at are computers, and that's just boring. Um, and not what I want to do anymore. <laughs> hey, we'll figure it out. Yeah, so, thank you. Um, thank you, Big Bear. It's just I'm better to grow slow than fast. When growing slow, they watch yeah. videos. We were kind of chatting about that earlier, you know? So thank you. Appreciate that. Um, Big Bear Emma says there are a ton more uh, on the so way. Nice. She looks quiet and reserved until she gets a postcard in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days it will get caught on camera. <laughs> 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 Uh, we'll have to show your wall, though. I think it's yeah. getting, coming along really well. I really like wall. Yes, and and please thank you. He says you are teaching people real life from day to day, and it is, it is good. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we love you guys. Your comments and the interactions. I love, I love it. So thank you for being awesome. Yeah. You have four YouTube gold sitting around you right now. Is that these stinkies? <laughs> One from Scotland. Ooh, Emma from Scotland. 
Oh, that's cool. I'm getting one from Liz Zorab in the UK. Liz in the UK. Liz Zorab, she has a fun channel. You guys should check it out. Um, let's see. I get that all the time, and only I only have some chickens and my rabbits in garden. I would love to get more. Hopefully, homesteader. That's where it starts. We had a garden and chickens, but then, and then it and then oh, we had ducks. ducks. Then, then they went ducks. all crazy homicidal, killing my chickens. So we got rid of the ducks. Yeah, oh. and then we moved here and got so, pigs. Check out little one quart campers for goats. Cheap, small work rate runs oh, on like a fish pump. Oh, yeah. okay. Thank you. We'll look into that. Yeah. It's on the way. Okay, we will keep an eye on the P.O. box. That's awesome. And um, that is an awesome island. That is so cool. Um, yeah. Awesome. I'm glad that. Um, we'll come up to our, do we have anything we want to mention? We wouldn't miss that. Oh, no. Homicidal ducks, right, Sunny? Yes, we're gonna end it with that as a cliffhanger. We just the duck, the male duck went nuts when the girls were laying eggs. Um, he and we fenced him off so the ducks had free range and the chickens. The homicidal ducks. Our ducks, they like kill their chickens. What are you talking about? Stick his head through the chicken wire. Yeah, and kill one. How do they know about that? Well, I said earlier, homicidal ducks. And so, anyway, this dang, this dang duck would like stick its head through and grab the chicken. He's, he's trying to protect the girl. And some chicks got out, and yeah, we came home to just a sad backyard massacre, massacre and it was terrible. That we just, they, yeah, they're no longer with us. We had a pool with them, and we had to like clean it out like every day. It was disgusting. what breed? Do you remember what breed it was? What breed of what? The duck, the male duck. Ooh. It was one with the green head. Roan? Is, is that how you say it? Roan? I don't it was know. The one with the green yeah. Head. yeah, green head. It wasn't I a mallard, but it looked no. a lot like a mallard. And it had a really big belly, so it couldn't fly. I want to say Roan. So, but I'm not yeah. positive. It's been too long. Ooh, and then we had one that was mine, and she had little fluffy feathers on her head. Yeah, so they were fun. Her name is Peanut. So, um, flying says it's hard finding your niche. Uh, mine has been hard to figure out and expand. I just heard a blog as opposed to YouTube. So it's hard to make videos. And you know, I'm not a blogger. I've, I've wondered if I should get into that, but I just, I don't know, I struggle. It's I'm really to flat enjoying my getting into making the videos. And, and he's so good. And the editing. I've... He's so good at our editing. He's so good. Um, just do what makes you happy and the rest will follow suit. Thanks for sharing your time and your family with us. Thank you. Thank you. We're yeah, reading we're, your mind. We're not going anywhere. We're going to keep doing, but we're, we're just uh, trying to keep ourselves improving, right? Yes, yes. So thank you. So any suggestions, please shoot them our way. Um, I think we're going to wrap this up. Um, people in this country call the call them Ruin, um, but they are named after a city in France. I call them Ra, Ra, Ruin. 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 Yeah, and we had Ruin. two other girls. So he had two girls. It was just terrible. Something. No, I did not know anything no, about know. it. So he's just picked it up. He's amazing. I I constantly watch videos on YouTube and get ideas and play around. They're eating meatloaf. <laughs> Flying is eating meatloaf. <laughs> awesome. Howard, get some beauty sleep. You need it. And uh, um, okay. Okay. tell me what this is. Oh, what is this? It's a castle. Hey, Mama. I was I was guessing. Oh. I was guessing. <laughs> well, you, I, I told I you. Adobe oh, we will finish this fight Sorry. after we get off. But yes, thank you, everybody, for joining us on this crazy live stream that yep. we like to call fun. <gasps> yes. And we hopefully appreciate we'll see everybody. you tomorrow. Bye. Yes. Thanks.